The rise of the Chinese economy has been one of the most important stories of the past few years. Not only has it lifted millions of people out of poverty, but it has also become a major driver of global growth. But now, there are fears that the Chinese economy is in danger of collapse. In this video, we'll take a look at the reasons behind these fears and what they could mean for the global economy. The Chinese economy is the second largest in the world, behind only the United States. It's also the fastest growing economy, with an annual growth rate of around 6.9%. That's more than double the growth rate of the US economy. However, there are a number of factors that have led to fears about the Chinese economy. Firstly, there's the slowing growth in the country's manufacturing sector. This is a key sector for the Chinese economy, as it accounts for around a third of GDP. The sector has been hit hard by the trade war with the US, as well as by the slowdown in the global economy. Secondly, there are increasing debt levels in the Chinese economy. The country's debt-to-GDP ratio is now around 260%. That's far higher than a level that's considered sustainable. And thirdly, there's the problem of bad loans in the Chinese banking system. Non-performing loans, NPLs, now make up around 5% of all loans in the country. That's a huge increase from just 1% a few years ago. All of these factors have led to fears that the Chinese economy is in danger of collapse. And if it does collapse, it could have a huge impact on the global economy. The Chinese economy is a major driver of global growth. If it collapses, it could lead to a sharp slowdown in the global economy. The US would be the most affected by a Chinese economic collapse. The country is the largest market for Chinese exports, and a slowdown in the Chinese economy would hit US companies that export to China. The European Union would also be affected. The EU is China's second largest trading partner. A slowdown in the Chinese economy would hit European companies that export to China. India would also be affected by a Chinese economic collapse. The country is the third largest market for Chinese exports, and a slowdown in the Chinese economy would hit Indian companies that export to China. However, there could also be some hidden opportunities for India if the Chinese economy collapses. If the Chinese economy collapses, it would create a big hole in the global supply of manufactured goods. This could lead to an increase in demand for Indian manufactured goods. India could also benefit from a weaker Chinese currency. If the Chinese currency weakens, it would make Indian exports more competitive. So while a Chinese economic collapse would be bad for the global economy, it could also create some hidden opportunities for India. China's economy and its importance. The Chinese economy has become increasingly important in recent years, overtaking the US in several key areas. China's integration into the world economy began with its entry into the World Trade Organization in 2001. In the past few years, China has overtaken the US as the world's largest trading nation. Many global giants such as Tesla and Apple have their manufacturing bases in China. China's share of world exports has quadrupled from 4% to 15% in the past year, while the US saw a decline in its share. China is now also the world's largest economy according to the Purchasing Power Parity Parameter. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has been a major shock to the global economy, and China has not been immune. Today, China is the center of the global supply chain for electronic products. Reasons for the current Chinese economic collapse the current Chinese economy is in a state of meltdown due to a number of reasons. Firstly, the COVID-19 outbreak saw a huge escalation in infections and thus the Chinese government imposed a rigorous lockdown in cities such as Shanghai and Beijing. This has led to a slowdown in the economy as businesses have been forced to close down. Secondly, the trade war with the US has also taken a toll on the Chinese economy. The US has imposed tariffs on Chinese imports, leading to a decrease in demand for Chinese products. This has further contributed to the economic slowdown in China. Thirdly, the Chinese government has also been investing heavily in infrastructure projects, which has led to a rise in debt levels. This has put further pressure on the Chinese economy and has resulted in the current meltdown. The other main issues. The COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated the already existing problems in the Chinese economy, which can be traced back to the 2008 global financial crisis. At that time, the Chinese government gave banks an implicit guarantee to keep lending, leading to a huge increase in credit. Much of this credit went into the property and real estate markets, driving prices up. Economists have long warned that this lending spree would eventually lead to a crisis. 
And indeed, prices began to sharply decline in 2011 and 2015, making a banking crisis seem inevitable. However, the government took steps to avert it. Now, with China dealing with the fallout from COVID-19, an economic crisis appears to be inevitable. China's economic crisis and the rest of the world. The International Monetary Fund has lowered its growth projections for the world economy in 2022 due to a slowdown in China and Russia. The IMF now expects the world economy to grow by 3.2% in 2022, down from its previous projection of 3.6%. The key reason for this lower revision is cited as a slowdown in both China and Russia. According to the IMF, a Chinese economic crisis would have robust global spillovers. In case the supply of goods from China slows down, it may result in higher customer goods prices throughout the world, a scenario that the world has already witnessed during the COVID-19 pandemic. Moreover, if there is a decline in Chinese demand for supplies from the rest of the world, then too, the countries that are dependent on exports to China will suffer. All in all, slower growth in the world economy would have a negative impact on financial markets. However, the fact that Chinese financial markets aren't very integrated with the rest of the world, unlike its trade sector, provides some relief. This suggests that the effects of slower growth in China will be felt primarily through trade channels rather than through financial markets. Conclusion the current economic crisis in China provides a unique opportunity for India to assert itself as a political power in Asia and beyond. With most South Asian economies facing serious repercussions from the crisis, countries like Sri Lanka, Nepal and Bangladesh are looking to China for help. However, India can play a pivotal role in assisting these countries during this difficult time, thereby gaining a greater foothold in the region. This could finally give India the status it has always been striving for. So if you like this video, please check our other video which discusses basic inflation. I will share the link to this video description. Thank you.